Hello again viewers, Biostem here with another tips and tricks video for Fallout 4. Uh, in this video I'm going to cover a simple yet effective dual tier gardening structure. Uh, this is just a real neat and handy way to keep track of your gardening and farming uh, needs. Uh, the main purpose of this is uh, if you're like me and you find that you need a lot of adhesive in your playthroughs, uh, you'll want to be able to grow uh, tato, mute fruit, and corn uh, in a fairly accessible area. Uh, while Sanctuary Hills, which is where I am, uh, is fairly flat, uh, I do find that having a nice uh, confined area is uh, very helpful. Um, similar to the saloon build that I went over previously, I placed the first block ahead of time uh, in order to just make things a lot easier uh, so I could go right into the build. Now this one's a little bit different because I'm going to make a lot of use of prefabs. Um, I want the structure to be very open, and so a prefab is just a nice, quick way to accomplish that. I'm going to use the basic wood prefab with a flat roof, and I'm going to snap them all over. Now, I want this to be it, I want this to be three rows deep. The reason is, is that one row will be for Tato, one row will be for Mute Fruit, and another row will be for Corn. Now, moving on, the reason why this square is not a prefab is because I'm going to now go to my floors and I'm going to make use of the shack upper floor. As you'll see, I can't I can't get a ladder to snap properly to the prefabs. And even though I could place it kind of randomly to accomplish what I want, I like it when things snap into place. So I'm going to go and I'm going to use the upper floor and I'm going to snap it into the corner here. To kind of, again, going along with my desire to keep things more believable, I'm going to go under barns and under miscellaneous. I'm going to use the big post. And let's, there we go. I'm going to have the post snapped to the corner side like that in order to kind of give it a you know the perception that yes this is supported structurally I'm now going to take um, the stairs and I'm going to snap it over to here now in the this is a very simple setup and using this layout I can very simply place under resources miscellaneous I can place the garden plots uh, I only have a little bit of fertilizer since this is a new sanctuary I came to but you get the the gist uh, eventually I'll have a full three rows of fertilizer uh, on these garden plots uh, with plenty of stuff uh, built in two layers so that way everybody uh, can farm and they can access it. Now if you want to go a little fancier, and who doesn't like fancy, what you can do is going back to barn under structures is I'm actually going to create go to floors, I'm going to take the single squares here go to the floors and you're going to actually create 
one additional row. Of floors. Uh, don't worry about the fact that these floors are slightly higher than the roof from the prefabs. It actually works out because you'll see that the garden plots add a little bit of height, so it makes it kind of look uh, flush when all is said and done. But I'm going to go ahead and continue the row of catwalks entirely around and almost done here come on and there we go now in addition to this and uh, if you had seen my uh, saloon uh, build I like to make use of the guardrails from the Wasteland Workshop uh, DLC. So I'm going to go ahead and do a course of guardrails around the outside. Don't want uh, anyone falling off of the uh, upper layer here. And if you wanted this to be a little bit more defensible uh, in the event of an attack on your settlement, you could go ahead and use the wood uh, mini walls instead. Uh, since they're more solid, you could duck behind them to avoid gunfire. In fact, um, if you want to be super secure, what you can do is uh, use the metal handrails in the corners like this, place a gun turret in the corner looking out so it can shoot out at any enemies, and then use wood guardrails for the rest of it so that you and your settlers that are up here have some protection. Uh, but just to kind of keep with the same aesthetic theme, I'm going to finish off with the railings, with the metal railings. So I'm going to finish this off. And there you have a nice, structurally sound, two-layer gardening plot. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that if you're creative, you could easily expand this to be a uh, multi-layer, if you like. And uh, obviously, this is more of a luxury, but I like to keep everything in place. And uh, obviously, in your adventures, you'd need to keep an eye on fertilizer in order to build more of these garden plots. Another thing I'll sometimes do, uh, depending upon the layout of the settlement that I have, is uh, you could place the stairs uh, differently. For instance, I could store all of this and place the stairs kind of sideways, kind of make it a more compact layout. And uh, because I have the upper deck, the upper shack floor here, I can snap the guardrails that way so that it still kind of has that safe look to it. So, as always, thanks again for watching. Please feel free to provide any feedback you may have. And again, as I like to say, an informed gamer is a happy gamer. Thanks again. Have a good night.